guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Coral Collection from the brand Picture Polish. These are available right now, so in the description box I will link the Picture Polish site, I will link their Instagram page, and then I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. So we do have five reflective polishes to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So here we have Staghorn and this one is a kind of gray shade with a bright green flash and then it's got silver um, reflective glitter. So here's our first coat of Staghorn. This one is pretty sheer here on this first coat. I would say everything in this collection has the same coverage. I am doing two coats today um, because that reflective glitter does distract from any kind of visible nail line that might be hanging around. But if you don't like any sort of visible nail line in any lighting, you might end up wanting to do three. This is reflective glitter, so it is gonna dry textured and it is gonna be difficult to remove, but there are two coats of staghorn. Up next we have Sea Fan, and this one is an aqua base and it's also got those silver reflective glitter. Here's our first coat of Sea Fan. Again, a little bit sheer here on this first coat. If you wanted to, you could sponge these on for more of that glitter and less of the base color, or you could use this as a topper over a similar based color. Again, I am doing two coats here. I was happy with that coverage. If you're super picky, you might want to go in for three. And just like the last one and everything in this collection, it will dry textured and it will be difficult to remove. So there are two coats of Sea Fan, and here it is with terrible camera flash lighting. Next up we have Sea Whip, and this one is, I would say, a primary blue base with those silver reflective glitter. Here's our first coat of Sea Whip. This one is a little bit deeper of a base color than Sea Fan was, um, but it does have about the same amount of coverage. Again, I'm doing two coats and I was happy with that coverage. You might end up wanting to do three. The formula on these, they are very good. They're not too thick or too thin. Sometimes these reflective glitters can get pretty thick, but these did apply it very nicely. Again, it will dry textured, and again, it will be difficult to remove. I am doing my best with these reflective glitters. They're so pretty in person. Next up, we have Brain Coral, and this one is a kind of dusty, deeper blue base. It's got a purpley flash to it, so maybe an indigo-ish kind of reading, and then it has silver reflective glitter. Here's our first coat of Bryn Coral. This is probably my favorite of the collection. I really enjoyed the shimmer that was in here, but I will say um, I didn't see it in a lot of lightings. So bear that in mind, it is more of that reflective-y kind of glitter. I am doing two coats. These are also super uh, top coat eating polishes, so you might wanna do a couple coats of top coat. I wore this one for a little while and I did have to reapply top coat for a couple days to get it to totally smooth out or maybe a glitter eater would be best, but there are two coats of brain coral. And lastly for today we have sun coral and this one is another like grayed out base with a strong purple flash and then it's got silver reflective glitter. And here's our first coat of sun coral. Once again, same amount of coverage. I'm doing two coats. You might opt to do three coats. A good, smooth, easy formula to work with. No running, pulling, or staining with anything in this collection. You will want top coat, potentially a glitter smoother underneath your top coat just to potentially prevent having to reapply top coat and removal will be difficult. I recommend nail clips and pure acetone. There are two coats of sun coral. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.